Hi, and welcome to Business 101 with Marie Vuitton. I'm Marie, and I'm excited to have you join me. Whether you're just starting out or looking to sharpen your skills, this series is designed to equip you with the essential knowledge and tools you need to thrive, from basic terminology to starting your business. Covered. This playlist is comprised of my responses to the questions that came in when I posed the following. Give me one to two questions about business or tax that you wish you knew more about. In this video, I am going to go over switching CPAs and what that looks like. But before we jump in, a quick reminder, this channel is about creating useful content that educates its viewers. And the way we know what topics are useful to you is by clicking the thumbs up button below and sharing this video with others. Of course, we'd love to hear from you, so drop your questions and feedback in the comments below, and be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay updated. Okay, I wanted to respond, even though you can clearly see my text response uh, to the person. Um, as far as changing CPAs, I I'm gonna tell you the way I tell everybody else, if you are not happy for any, re it, for any reason with whomever it is that you're working with, it's always a good idea to switch, okay? Um, I think a good, a good way to know when it's time to switch is the, the, the attention to detail and the willingness of, of your tax person to be able to confidently and adequately explain all of the questions that you may have and explain whatever, whatever it is needs to happen to better strategize for the future, okay? And if you don't feel you're getting the answers you need, switch. Um, you wanna ensure that you are uh, working with somebody that is qualified to do so. You can visit the IRS website, that's www.irs.gov, and you can look at a list of requirements and you can even locate CPAs in your area from there too. So um, that's my blip on that. And is as far as how many years do you need to keep your customer invoices and records, um, it's always been a generic rule of thumb for seven years. But for me, because we um, keep everything and store everything electronically now, I've moved to a completely uh, paperless office and everything is electronic. I keep them indefinitely. Um, I usually will check in and we can kind of uh, tweak that whenever necessary for a specific client. but. I keep them indefinitely and I keep everything in, in volts. So there's multiple two-factor authentications and different things in place to keep everything safe and secure. So if there's any questions about what I've said, leave it in the comments below. And you can also visit our website, www.marievuitton.com. Thanks.